growing up as a good junior player and college player and then on the tour, on the practice tee, I would hit random, you know, straight balls, my standard shot, and I'd hit an occasional cut or a draw or a couple little punches in case it was into the wind and maybe hit a high ball uh, just for good luck, so to speak. But about 1971 and two, I was thinking, I was watching Trevino hit it with his fade and I was watching Chi Chi hit his hook, a low hook, and I was thinking, I wonder if I came up with a game that would put a little pressure on myself on the practice tee and brought confidence to the course. I would hit nine balls and nine different flights. In other words, I'd hit a series of uh, low straight, low fade, low hook, and then I'd hit a normal height uh, with a six iron, it's the best club by the way, and hit the, the medium height, standard height, fade hook draw, and then a high series of straight hook draw. And what I found out is I would, at first I could do maybe six or seven out of nine. And as I did it 10, 15 years later, I usually can average about eight, eight and a half, and sometimes nine out of nine. And it puts pressure on you to do it on the first shot. A lot of times you'll see a pro go on the tee and he'll say, oh, I hit a couple cuts and the first one not too good. And the second one's pretty good. And the third one, by the third or fourth one, he's got it. Well, on the course, you only get one shot, folks. You get one try to hit that shot you need to hit. Pretty good rule of thumb is this. If you can do these nine shots and hit six or above, six, seven, eight, or nine, you can call yourself a P-L-A-Y-E-R. And anything under six, you're still just a golfer. Nothing wrong with that, but if you can get it up there where you can hit six out of nine. And the reason why I like this game is it handles any wind direction, any hole location, I got a shot. And the thing is, if you have these nine shots grooved, you have more green light shots to all these different wind directions and hole locations. So you can shoot lower shots and you can play with the C word right there. Not choke, but for, with confidence. You can play these. You might find out that you can hit three out of nine, but you can hit the low fade, the straight one pretty good, and maybe a low draw. Whatever it is, you, you start getting confidence in the shots you can pull off almost every time when you, while you play this, I think, great game. I recommend it highly. Tiger does a similar thing, but not as nine balls, nine shots. Same, same with a lot of the other pros. This is a this is a game that will improve your game for sure and make you be a performer on that one try on the shot you're trying to hit. Call shot golf. Okay, here it is. Pretty much I start normally with a six iron, like I said, and I'll just hit a standard little straight, normal height here, just here. Right down in the middle, right where you want it. Then I'll hit a normal height fade. You'll notice the fall through difference. Little cut there. Here's a standard height to draw. Right here, you'll notice the follow position. Nice little draw there. So let's go in the low series. This is under pressure. Trevino told me if you're choking, baby, just hit it low. It doesn't have time to get offline much. So when I'm nervous, or when I won the 84, 94 AT&T as a grandpa, coming in, I hit nothing but these shots right here. And I pretend really I'm sort of Lee Trevino. So here's the low series, back in the stance a little. I'll hit a low straight one, watch this little stinger, tiger stinger. Right there. And here's a Trevino, little lean in cut. Berg right there, and then a Chi Chi draw, real low draw, back in your stance. And if you can see those balls, so far I've hit six balls and I've hit every shot exactly what I called. And the high, hardest one, I believe, is a high series because as you're trying to hit it high, you pop your belly out and it can hit behind it a little. So you need a good lie. So this will be a high straight ball. Watch how high the follow through is. That's dead straight. And I use this, this one I call a helicopter finish great for a high fade. And then the hardest shot of all is this one. Back of the stance, high draw, crossover draw. And there's that tough shot, that high draw. And remember, uh, to try those different shots the way I've sort of explained them, I'm telling you, it's a promise. Johnny Miller, 100,000 mile guarantee. If you practice this right here, you will be a better player, maybe a way better player. And that includes the average guy all the way to a Tiger Woods or Rory McIlroy. Do it. Yeah.